नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम बैक चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द फीडिंग हैबिट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स राइट एंड टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट देयर ईटिंग स्टाइल्स दैट मींस डिफरेंट एनिमल्स दे हैव डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ ईटिंग फूड सम एनिमल्स दे सिंपली बाइट एंड च्यू देयर फूड वेयर एज सम एनिमल्स दे टेयर देयर फूड एंड देन च्यू इट देन देयर आर एनिमल्स व्हिच सक देयर फूड एंड डेफिनेटली देयर आर सम एनिमल्स which nibble at their food and then they, then we have a category of animals which swallow their food as a whole right so we have different animals with different styles of eating food so let us take up our today's topic which is eating styles of animals so children before we take up the eating styles of animals let us recall the feeding habits of animals and we know that food items that the animals eat regularly are called their eating habits or feeding habits and different animals eat different types of food so based on their eating habits they are classified into different categories and we know those categories now these are herbivores carnivores omnivores and scavengers so let us take up the herbivores we know that plant eaters are also called herbivores and here we have some examples of plant eaters cow goat sheep horse buffalo and deer and then the next category is carnivores so we have flesh eaters and we know the flesh eaters are the crocodile tiger lion wolf again these are some examples and then there are many more carnivores then we have omnivores omnivores are those animals which feed on plants as well as on flesh of other animals and the examples are the bear dog monkey crow and i told you in my last video that we human beings also fall in the category of omnivores then we have scavengers and i have picked up two examples here the hyena and vulture so that was all about the eating habits now let us move on to the eating styles of different animals the so children the first eating style that we have with us is chewing the cud and you know you can see a cow over here that means this term has something to do with plant eaters or herbivores so let us understand what is chewing the cud certain herbivores first partially chew the grass and swallow it later they bring it back to their mouth and chew it properly for hours and you know how many hours sometimes 7 to 8 hours in a day also no? so these animals have strong and broad biting teeth in the front for biting the grass so that means their front teeth should be strong and broad to bite off the grass but now they have to chew the grass also so they should have flat and broad chewing teeth at the back for chewing the cud and examples of such animals are cow buffalo sheep deer and of course there are many more so let us try to understand chewing the cud with the example of a cow see the cow it has biting front teeth no to bite off the grass once it bites off the grass it takes its fill and most of the time you must have seen them you know sitting under the shade and then doing this type of activity that means once they take their fill or they swallow the grass partially they again bring it back to their mouth and then they chew it completely so what are they doing basically they are swallowing the food two times once partially and then they chew it properly and swallow it again so this process is called chewing the cud and such animals are also called cud chewing animals so children with this we'll move on to a very different style of eating and that is gnawing the food and let us see who is gnawing at the food here the squirrel so let us understand what is no no means to keep biting at something repeatedly that means to bite at something continuously you know persistently many times hitting at one place so that the food breaks or it wears 
Certain animals have a pair of long and sharp front teeth to in their lower and upper jaws. That means those animals which gnaw at their food, they should have long and sharp front teeth. These teeth help them to gnaw seeds, fruits, nuts and grains. And examples of such animals are the rat, squirrel, rabbit or porcupine. Animals, they gnaw at the food. And you can see those pair of long sharp front teeth here in case of this rabbit. So with this, we'll move on to the next eating style and that is tearing the flesh. And we should know that flesh eating animals are called carnivores. And if they have to tear the flesh, they should have very sharp front teeth, no? So certain carnivorous animals have pointed, sharp, long and curved front teeth to tear the flesh. But now they have to grind those bones and flesh, no? So they should have broad and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the flesh and bones. And again, they can do it with the help of strong jaws because they have to bite hard at the flesh and bones. And let us take a few examples of carnivores. And these are the tiger, lion, wolf. So they eat their food by tearing the flesh of other animals. So with this, let us move on to one another very interesting eating style and that is sucking the food. And you know, when we talk about sucking, we should know we also suck juice using straw. So that means these animals, they should have some tube-like structure like a straw so that they can suck in the liquid food. So let us understand what is sucking the food. So certain insects have long thin tubes attached to their mouth and the examples of such animals are or insects are the butterflies. We know the butterflies, they suck nectar of flowers to their mouth through this tube. And then we have mosquitoes they have sharp pointed mouth parts which they use to suck, yes, the blood of other animals. So with this children, let us move on to another very interesting eating style and that is swallowing food as whole. And who has to swallow the food whole? Who does not have chewing teeth, right? So certain animals do not have chewing teeth. So they swallow their food without chewing it. And let us take up the example. Snakes, as you can see in the picture, they swallow their food as whole. And if we talk about lizards and frogs, so they have long sticky tongue which they aim and shoot out at their prey. Once the insect or their prey gets stuck to the sticky tongue, they roll it back into their mouth along with their prey. So here if we talk about the tree lizards, which is also called the chameleon, you know, it has very long sticky tongue to catch the prey or the insect. Then of course they roll it back. But you know, this tongue is sometimes even longer than their own body length. And if, and if we talk about this frog, you know, frogs, they have different kind of tongue. See, uh, if we observe our tongue, you know, your tongue or my tongue. So, our tongue is attached at the back, but it is free from the front. But in case of a frog, its tongue is attached in the front and free from the back. So, what happens is, it rolls out its tongue, right? and then catches the insect and then it rolls it back into its mouth. So this is how a frog catches the insects. So that was about animals which swallow their food as whole. And now we'll move on to an, another kind of eating style and that is lapping up water or milk. If we look at this animal, all of us know that dogs, they use their tongue to lap up the water or milk. So certain animals use their tongue to lap up water or milk and these animals are the cats or the dogs.
So with this, let us move on to some other types of feeding habits. If we talk about elephants, we know that elephants, they have huge long trunk which they use to tear off branches and leaves from trees and they also use their trunk to drink water. Then we have earthworms. So children, you should know that earthworms, they live inside the soil and they feed on the dead plants and animals which get mixed with the soil. So what do they do is they swallow the soil to eat the remains of dead plants and animals to get the nutrition. And then we have leeches. So they have circular mouth with two jaws which they use to stick to the skin of their prey and suck the blood. So they generally they stick on animals to suck the blood. So that was all about the eating styles of animals. So with this we'll move on to the keywords and first is the cud and we know cud is the partially chewed and swallowed food. By whom? By herbivores, right? And then we have no to keep biting repeatedly at something. And it is done by animals which have biting. And it is done by those animals which have long front teeth. So children, with this, let us move on to the think and answer section. So we'll take up our first question. How do squirrels and rabbits eat food? We know that they have a pair of sharp, long front teeth. Then discuss eating habits of butterflies and mosquitoes. Here I have given the given you the example of a straw. So they take in liquid diet using their tube-like structures present in their mouths. And then we have eating habits of earthworms. We know they swallow their soil to get the nutrition. Then how do carnivores eat food? And we should know that they have curved front teeth to tear the flesh, then grinding teeth, then strong jaws of course to eat the food. So children let us identify the eating styles of some animals. So what animals come up first? They are all plant eaters or herbivores. And we know herbivores, their eating style is chewing the cud. So they are cud chewing animals. And then we have this rat. And we know that animals with two sharp front pointed teeth, they gnaw at the food. So this process is gnawing the food. Then this is very simple. We know that dogs, cats, they lap up the liquid. Then we have the butterfly. Again, they have sucking tubes. So this eating style is sucking. So children, that was all about different eating styles in animals. But before we leave, I want to show you one model here. And if you look at this model, you will find a bee sitting over here on this flower. And you know bees, they use their long tube-like structures present in their mouths to suck the nectar from the flowers. And if we talk about a frog, now we know that frogs, they swallow their food as whole using their long sticky tongue. So that was all for now. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And take care of yourself.